Welcome again to How to Learn to Play Backgammon. In this game, our opponents rolled a 6 5 and I've rolled a 3 2. Now, I want to provide two men as options. I do not want to play that because I've got an extra man there. It really is very little help to me at the start of a game. So, I'm going to play two men as builders. Okay, this time I've got a 6 3. I'm going to take that point. The fifth point there is very valuable. Start building a block, even though I'm exposed to a hit. If I could have hit and covered, I would have done that. If I get hit, I already got two men back. It's no big deal. So I got hit. I can hit back. I can come in on the three. Hit. I've got two points taken already. Okay. Double four, but I've got a lot of hit options. I really need to take that man out on the bar point, and I really need a five and six to to do that. Five. I'm actually going to double hit. Now that seems a bit aggressive. You've got two men off the board. If he misses, I've got one, two, three options to cover that. This is an interesting scenario here. The question is, we're early in the game, I've got three men back, I've got a man exposed, he's just missed. The question is, do we double? Uh, there are two schools of thought here. One, I've got a very good chance of making that point, and if I do so, I will, um, you know, good chance of making a gamut. Is early in the game, it's nil all, we're playing to seven as you can see. So I could probably be chasing points. If it was late in the game and I needed a, just a point, I would probably double. If I double, I think the computer here would would uh, would give up and concede the point. So I would just continue. So what I'm trying to do is make these points as quickly as possible. Rather than playing this man safe, which I would in normal circumstances, I'm bringing another possibility down simply because he's got two off. Okay, a double three is not going to be good, but other than that, um, I'm in pretty good shape. Another lucky roll for me. Play there's a two to give me an option. I'm actually going to play a five there for the reasons provided before. If he misses, I'm in great shape. Okay, I got hit. Not what I wanted, but. I've still got pl I've got three points covered. I've got hitters coming. I'm in pretty good shape. One. Obviously, that's going to be double th double three. If I play that one there, and I can cover that, I may have a five point board. Five two. So now I just want to start bringing these these ones round, and try to get a a full six point block there. So I can play pretty comfortably. I'm going to play that point in there to try and cover that. I'm just playing. Sorry, of course. So I've got to make the three and then bring the rest up. I've made that point there. Now, both men in. Wouldn't it be nice to get a third man? So I'm going to try to work to that. This is not a good roll for me. I have to break, unfortunately. I can't play either a 1 or a 4 there. And if I play the 4 there, I have to break here. So I have to double break, which is not good. Again, I'm in a bit of trouble here because I don't have many options. Even though it's only got a th scattered 3 points, I'm actually uh, being forced to can't play the 3 or 5 there. can't play anything more than a 5 there. So I'm forced to play that. Okay, got hit, no big deal. If I can get another hit, uh, I'm going to wrap up Gammon because he's not going to get in. He's got four men open. It's actually quite an aggressive, I think, a fairly poor roll by the computer. One, two. I'm going to hit there as well because if I get hit and taken off, it's not going to worry me. And I'm going to bring that point up. To, to get six and to get another direct shot. Two would be nice. Bang. 
and I'll, I'll keep these split so I don't need to cover it now. Five or a six would be helpful. See how many people we can pick up. That's one. Sorry, two. I don't need that many, but uh, uh, the more the better, I suppose, as long as I play safe off. There's another one there. I forgot all about that. I'll just play forward on that one. I've got to get this man out. Uh, but there's a hit there. So I'll just take it. Now I've still got this man out. One, two, three, and four. Now my goal here is to play off conservatively. I don't need to race off. I just need to get off cleanly. So I'm actually just going to roll forward. Because I don't need to race at this stage. Anything is quite comfortable. So you can see I can go back to that point where should I have doubled. I thought the computer would have conceded. If I needed the point and I was desperate, I would have just grabbed it. So I'm just rolling forward, not giving any opportunity. Even though he's in, the computer is in now, it's got a long way to go and it's not going to get there. As you can see, the pip count, 161, well you start at 167, so the computer is in its starting position. And I just roll away. That could have been a, a backgammon if I threw a double. And there we go. Two points for the gammon, so we'll just leave it there.